Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So first, man, I just want to thank everybody for showing my love and support. Now, let's get straight into the video. What y'all looking at is your man, your boy, your girl, your woman, whatever y'all want to call these things, man. Cassie and Diddy. And I've been telling everybody for the longest, these are made up characters, okay? There'd be people from time to time that say, hey, bro, can you talk about other stuff? And there's a lot of channels that cover just other stuff, like literally that. But this is not, the ch this is the channel for that, but not, not all the time. This world is being ran by elites, as you guys already know. And I'm telling y'all, 75% of the stuff that goes down is fake and they use these puppets. So for me to talk about other stuff, it's like you still have to cover these puppets, y'all, because these puppets are y'all watching. When y'all watching about all the events that's happening on TV, y'all see a bunch of actors and actresses playing this role. It, do it doesn't exist. That's why when stuff happens, when we try to drive there, we're not allowed. When we try to go there, we're not allowed. It's taken down. You know what I'm saying? The building just took it down completely. Come on, man. Y'all got to wake up. OK, so first off, like I said, man, P. Diddy is not a care is a it's a fake character. y'all. That's all he is, is a character. OK, they are. It's time to take P. Diddy off the world stage. OK, shout out to Candace Michelle View. She did one of the best videos of breaking down Diddy character. Right. And it's very important. Y'all watch that video, because when I drop my video, you, you will see why it's important to watch to watch that video. OK, because. They literally, T.I. Zone literally uh, played the role of Diddy and then they kind of, and his brother, in my opinion, helped play the role of Biggie Smalls, okay? That's why y'all got to really watch that video because I literally piggyback everything off her video, okay? Um, along with uh, who I feel like is playing Diddy today's date, okay? This is a Hollywood made-up character, okay? Well, first thing, y'all got to understand that Karuchi and uh, Cassie, they're the same people, y'all. OK, ask yourself for the non-believers, ask yourself, why do Cassie wait so long to decide it's time to sue Diddy for 30 years? Right. As soon as Keefe D go get arrested for the alleged fake Tupac murder. Now she wants to speak. Right. You remember, y'all, Hollywood, Holly Weird is the king and queens of taking a character, making them the hero and then making them the villain, taking them off the world stage and making them the hero again and then begging for us. To not just give donations, y'all, but to buy merch, to buy tickets to attend a funeral. We don't even know these people. They wouldn't even speak to you if you were standing in front of you, yet alone even donate money. You can hit up someone right now, your favorite celebrity, and say, hey, times is tough. I need help with my bills, help with my rent. They wouldn't even read your message. But let another celebrity hit them up, hit them up with a blue check mark. They respond in ASAP. Okay, so y'all got to understand that method alone okay y'all gotta understand that these are fake characters so all of a sudden she decides she's gonna file a 30 million dollar lawsuit not 29 not 28 million not 31 million but 30 million y'all what's up with the number you know what i'm saying where, where do you get 30 million how is 30 million go fix what happened and how can you sue somebody for that though right shouldn't you the dude be going to jail for that what why didn't you call the cops come on now Karuchi. And um, Cassie is the same person, y'all. So first off, they try to label Karuchi as uh, from L.A., y'all. I, I don't know nobody to know her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody to know nobody to know her. You know what I'm saying? She just popped up out of nowhere. They did the same thing with Lauren London. They got these chicks labeled, these he, she's, uh, these trannies labeled as, uh, as um, they're from L.A., but they're not. Okay, they're not from L.A., okay? Not at all. OK, where did they where are they from? OK, from Los Angeles, where they grew up at, what high school they grew up at. Every time we look at these yearbooks, y'all, what do they do, man? What do they do in these yearbooks? They Photoshop these yearbooks or say they they they, they, they was in private school or they was in home school. Like, dude, what's up? So all these kids just going to private school or going to home school, they, they just making it no problem at all. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to make it make sense. And then they dads are always missing or they mom is always missing or they got some military background. Their dad was in the service. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. How do y'all grow up poor? But yet y'all are in the studio all the time. Like it costs money to go in the studio. OK. Y'all got to understand these are the same people. OK, so the reason why Cassie was with Diddy. OK, the reason why they was doing it, because they were trying to push an agenda back then. 
They use Diddy as best as they can. But today's date in every generation, not too many people care too much about Diddy or following Diddy. They care more about Jay-Z. That's why you see Jay-Z with this pushing this uh, dreadlock thing. You know what I'm talking about? And pushing this black excellent thing and pushing this black couple thing with Beyonce. You see what I'm talking about? Because they, they no longer need Diddy no more because nobody is trending to Diddy no more from the youth to older. Everybody is literally turning to uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. You got the whole Will and Jada fiasco going on. You know what I'm saying? So J P. Diddy character is no longer needed in Hollywood. Okay? So again, how do you make money? Okay? How do, if you, how do you make money off of uh, P. Diddy? Easily. You take them off the world stage. Now everybody's crying, everybody we miss you, everybody paying for tickets to go to a funeral, everybody buying merch. You guys buying merch of somebody that passed away is the same thing as donating money. Okay? They literally get these made in China shirts for a dollar fifty and sell them to y'all for thirty dollars. Okay? That's literally what they're doing. Then his music goes off the chain. Don't forget Diddy gave so many artists like Mace their masters back. Why would you do something like that? Come on now. Y'all got to wake up, man. Y'all got to wake up. Okay. Now for the people that don't believe that celebrities are wearing masks, you know, and, and you believe they being cloned. So I believe people are being cloned and shout out to all of y'all. Only thing that I'm going to tell y'all is that at the end of the day, when y'all watch television, y'all been watching television as a kid. That's they've been programming you from as a kid. They programming y'all. I got grown men and grown women telling me in my face they don't watch the news. They don't want no part of the news, but they on social media all goddamn day. That's the same thing as the news. That's the exact same thing as the news. You have it in your phone instantly. If you knew this information that I put in the video already, that like Cassie was suing Diddy, then you watch the news. With that said, much love, respect to everybody. Y'all have a good day.